What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to cover a subject. Does gaming with the door open or closed to your gaming room make a difference? Oh, we're going to show you firsthand that it does make a difference. We got temperature, we got gauges, we got all kinds of little things that's going to tell us what's really taking place. What it is is it tells me the temperature of the room, the humidity level of the room, and some other cool details. We're going to put one outside of the gaming computer and one on the inside of the gaming computer. That way it tells us the difference in temperature from inside of the computer to the room. I want to know what my core temperatures are. So. We got CPU Z thermal on and it's going to tell us the individual core temperature. That's very important because we're going to see a significant difference from having your door open to having your door closed to your gaming room. Oh, don't miss it. Make sure to subscribe, hit that like. Let's do this intro and get right into it. So the door is shut. The door is shut. We have... Let me turn the light on. There you go. There's the air vent right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to cover the air vent with a blanket. That way, no cold air is coming in to assist the computer. We're going to go ahead and get our digital temperature gauges. We're going to put one inside and we're going to set the other one on top of there. We're going to let it run for one hour. We're going to pull up CPU-Z, and then we're going to jump to CPU-Z, and I'll show you guys the difference in core temperatures from running with the door open to running with the door closed to your gaming room. Alright, so the inside temperature of the room right now is 73 degrees. When we started this, our temperature in the room was at a low 64 degrees, so it's definitely come up quite a bit. The temperature, oh man, it's on Celsius right now, crap. Let's see here, the inside temperature of the case is at 77. So the outside temperature is 73, and the inside temperature is 77. Alright, so we're definitely getting a difference in temperature. Let's take a look at what our cores are doing. I'm really curious to see at what our temperatures of our cores are. Okay, so we're going to be using Cupid hardware monitor to tell us the difference of the temperatures. Alright, so we started off at a low 70 degrees. I just shut the door and we are exactly 25 minutes into it. We're going to let these temperatures climb. As you can see, they're in the, the highest they've hit so far is in the mid 90s. Watch that number. It's going to go way up into the hundreds. Even our average minimum value is going to be in the 80s to high 90s. Well, I would say high 80s to low 90s, but we might even get higher temperatures than that. So we're going to let the system run for an hour. I'm going to do some daily tasking, check my email, play a little Minecraft, do a couple little things like I would normal do. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack the door open and we're going to watch those temperatures just drop like a rock. So the door has been open now for 15 minutes. We're 15 minutes in to having the door open and I'm already starting to see 78 to 77 degrees on all of the cores. So all of the cores dropping because I was seeing an average of 80 on all of the cores. Now I'm seeing an average of 70, 76, 77 on all cores so there is definitely something to having the door open and allowing fresh air to get into the room and have your system suck that fresh cold air in and it does make a difference I mean the proof is in the numbers letting the system run for over an hour now 
And I just showed you guys the difference in temperature of the outside of the case on forces the inside of the room. Um, there really wasn't that much of a difference. Uh, it was like four or five degrees. But if you look here, our hottest temperature on core five was 122 degrees Fahrenheit. That is insane. Our lowest temperature before we started the test was running in the 70s. We were in the low 70s. The all cores, all, all of the cores, all the way down the line, all eight cores are running in the low to mid 70s before the test. Now all of the cores are running in the high 80s to the low 90s. And we even hit temperatures of 122 degrees. That is insane. The difference between our runtime, our beginning runtime, was 70, what, 74 degrees? And then my highest temperature was 120 or 122 degrees. That's like 40, what, 44, 45, 46? That is a lot. 40 plus degrees in difference of temperatures on the core versus having my door open versus having the door close. Wow. So, with me gaming in my room with the door shut, I am literally cooking the computer. I am causing me to have higher, have higher temperatures, higher thermals, across the entire CPU core package. The whole thing is just screaming for help at 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Now my system is fully water cooled. The GPU and CPU are all water cooled. But those fans bringing air are bringing in hot warm air and it's not allowing the system to dissipate the heat as quickly and as efficiently as it needs to. That's just insane. If I go up to the top and look at the temperature sensors, all right, the motherboard got 98 degrees by itself. The entire system temperature as a whole was 100 degrees. The CPU read at that time at 113 degrees. On the socket, the socket itself for the CPU got up to 87 degrees at one time. The pump, the pump that we're running drops in RPM. All right, the pump at, before we ran the test with the door open, with temperatures running in the 70s to low 80s, the pump was at 2600 RPM. With the temperature going up to 120 degrees, the pump had to increase the RPM to almost 3,000. It's 2,926 RPM. So the pump itself had to increase in RPM to try to keep up with the system heat. I mean, it's just insane what shutting your door to your room does. Even with air, fresh air being pumped in your room, it, there's still no way for that hot air to escape. So it just sits in your room getting warmer and warmer and warmer, causing everything, the volts to go up. The, uh, the RPMs on my damn pump went up. The temperatures across all core count went up. All right, now let me explain to you in watts. Idling, idling, okay, with the door open, the system pulls around 11 to 12 watts. That's the entire package idling. With the system running with the door shut after one hour, we were consuming over 51 watts of power. That's because the fans had to speed up. I mean, the everything in the system required more juice especially with my fan curve being in there. I mean, you're, you're, of course, it's everything has to work harder to keep the system cooler. That's what this is telling us. And it's, it's just amazing on 
what type of performance and gain you lose by having the door open or having the door closed to your gaming room. I mean, the proof is in the pudding right there. Well, I hope you guys found this video to be helpful. I mean, it is kind of an obvious video, but it does help to kind of show people numbers. Make sure to leave me a like and subscribe. As always, I appreciate you guys, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Look at the difference in temperature while, while benchmarking the system with the door closed. The hottest core got up to 152 degrees. While benchmarking with the door open, it got up to 98 degrees. When we were benchmarking with the door closed, our watts was 134 watts. Total package, 134 watts. With the door being open, we were pulling a total package of 131 watts. So it's clear as day that the system definitely has to work harder to keep it cooler. And it's causing the power and everything just to skyrocket.